Good morning to you, Samuel. Great to be speaking with you once again. Uh, they've really done a beautiful job on this home. Uh, can you tell us a bit about uh, the inspiration behind it? Absolutely. Yeah, it really is a luxury designer terrace. And as you mentioned, the urban sophistication really does meet cutting-edge design here with this glamorous three-bedroom Victorian terrace. It features two living areas, dining area, state-of-the-art kitchen, marble bathrooms. The main bedroom has a, uh, an ensuite and parking on separate title. You know, they, ca they came into this terrace and they've just done an absolute remarkable, remarkable job. They have done a great job. I mean, the finishes are, are quite spectacular. I really love the view from the master suite over the stair void into that uh, ensuite. It's pretty spectacular. It certainly is. Uh, and something you don't often see in terraces. Uh, they're trying to keep that nice terrace feel, but then when you walk in, it is really is cutting-edge design. I'm sorry, Samuel, did you say that parking is on a separate title? How does that work? That's correct. So there's uh, not at the back of the terrace, but just down the road. It's about 50 metres away. It's offered uh, on the sale. However, the, uh, the upside of that is that you can still receive council permits for two cars, as well as uh, visitor parking as well. So if you've got any friends or family that would like to come over and visit you in your beautiful new terrace, then you can uh, park there all day and not have to worry about those... Uh, those parking inspectors getting you uh, in the afternoon. Of course, look, parking is, a, is an issue because the streets are narrow. It's a beautiful character field, a historic part of Sydney, but you've also got a, a lot at your doorstep by way of transport and shops and, and, and uh, lifestyle. Absolutely. It's just a, a short walk up to Oxford Street where you've got the buses that run there and just a short walk to King's Cross or Mu Museum Station if you wish to take the train. And it goes without saying the... The, now with Oxford Street coming back, Justin Hems's bars, it really is a place to be. Yes, it's great to see that revival happening in Paddington. Uh, what's the price guide you're giving on this one, Samuel? That's three eight fifty is our guide for that. Three million eight hundred and fifty. Uh, and how long has it been on? How long has it been on the market? And when can people see this property? It's open uh, today at eleven to eleven thirty, uh, and we've been on the market. Uh, just over five weeks now, six weeks. Beautiful. And that end of the Paddington market, how's it been holding up in recent months? Uh, we're, seeing, we're seeing a tightening across the board. There's no doubt about it, especially coming in to the, to the later months of the year. Uh, but it really uh, provides an opportunity for one lucky buyer to buy it. Yeah, well, look, it's got soaring ceilings and beautiful, beautifully uh, presented. So, uh, you know, it's got all the, the boxes ticked in its favour. Thank you, uh, Samuel, so much for sharing it with us this morning. And thank you for having me.